When I was in my teens, I was very interested in spirituality of all kinds. I felt like there was something missing, and I really wanted to find some kind of, something that gave me some meaning. Well, I suppose my path starts at birth. I was born into a family of meditators, of all things. Both my parents were meditation teachers. And so I ended up meeting my first Buddhist meditation teacher when I was 20. And I was showered with love when I was a kid. And nevertheless, in my teenage years, early on, um, I found some need to rebel, and my rebellion cost me almost 15 years of my life. The meditation masters that I met at that time, they absolutely blew me away. And it was their kindness that just radiated from their presence. I thought, I want to be like that. Who wouldn't want that in their life? I was a musician. Um, I'm an artist. I'm always craving some kind of extremity. Ended up falling myself to the, to the edge of oblivion, where I was kind of consciously so afraid of me, consciously so afraid of what I was capable of. And the only thing that ever brought me out was meditation. Meditation isn't, for me, something you just do with your mind. It's something that you do that actually changes your being. What you do with your mind is you just let it be. People think that when you meditate, I should find my spirit animal, or I should go to a cave, or I should have rainbows, and everything should be amazing and peaceful, and it's not like that. Meditation is just being here. So when I was addicted, when I was running away, um, I thought that I was finding happiness by doing something extreme, but instead I was actually running in the opposite direction of who I really was. And so I found that the genuineness that I experienced in meditation practice could infuse the rest of my life. And so now, my life is extremely full. It may not always be perfect, it may not always be easy, but I don't run anymore. I think it made me a better husband, better father, uh, definitely a better businessman. And every day I wake up with the understanding that today I will face who I am and what I am with just being me. I try to come to every moment just being present in the moment, and then how can I help? How can I be genuine? How can I really affect the world in a positive way? So you come, you sit on your cushion. If you're working, you just sit in your chair. I've been given so many gifts in my life. And so I really feel at this point that I can't really pay it back, but I can try to pay it forward. If you're with your family, your husband, your wife, your kids, you just sit there. And if it's difficult, you let it be difficult. And if it's fun, you let it be fun, but you don't let it get carried away, and I need more fun, you just be. This was a big inspiration for starting MindWorks, is to really help, you know, share the joy and the genuineness and the inspiration of meditation practice with the world. MindWorks. MindWorks. MindWorks is. <laughs> I was born like this. <laughs> Blue. I mean green. Ah! <laughs> Don't bother me. I'm filming right now. Uh -huh. Yeah? <laughs>